These are the best NVIDIA settings you should be using to get the highest FPS and lowest amount of input delay in any game. Firstly, you want to set up your NVIDIA drivers correctly. You have two options for this. Option one is to get the latest driver found on the NVIDIA website or within the NVIDIA Experience application. The latest drivers are usually the best option for those out there that play the newest games as the latest drivers mainly provide more stability with their bug fixes, compatibility fixes and even additional new technology that they've added for those specific newer titles. Whereas with option 2, which is to get an older Nvidia driver, such as any of these recommended older drivers on screen right here, these are usually better for performance, but they do lack stability for certain PC specifications. However, overall, when it comes to Nvidia drivers, you just have to test out which driver feels best for you on your specific graphics card. And if you guys know which driver is the best for your GPU, then please comment below which driver you specifically have and which graphics card you specifically use and that'll help out a ton of people in the comment section that are trying to find the best combo. Secondly, you want to access the Nvidia control panel so we can configure the best settings. You can do this via the desktop via literally right clicking on it then clicking on the Nvidia control panel or alternatively you can go in the Microsoft store type in Nvidia and you can actually open it from here. Once inside of the Nvidia control panel you want to go under the 3D settings and click on adjust image settings with preview and you firstly want to select the middle one which is used advanced 3D image settings as we're going to customize all of these 3D settings right here to get the most FPS possible but do note this will lower the graphic fidelity of your game. Now getting straight into it you want all of these settings on off slash application controlled as you can see right here and if you scroll down slightly you should see the low latency mode setting. Now this setting can heavily reduce your input delay a ton so it's really good and the majority of people do actually the other set and turned on However, it can potentially um, affect your FPS negatively, so some people do actually turn it off as well. Um, but for those on laptop systems, so literally if you have a laptop, most people on laptops do use the Ultra setting as it can benefit them a ton. But like I mentioned, most pros and players do choose to have this on as that is generally the best setting for low latency mode. Scrolling down from low latency mode, you want frame rate off, uh, multi-frame sample off, uh, open GL rendering, you want that on auto select. Power management mode, this one is an interesting one. If you do have an older GPU or graphics card, you might want to use the preferred maximum performance. But if you have a newer graphics card, so the latest graphics card for example, Nvidia actually wants you to use optimal power to actually have no issues whatsoever. And to be honest, for graphics cards are that good, you don't need maximum performance. But again, if you're on a lower end graphics card, you may want to use this setting right here. But I myself am choosing to use the optimal power one. Below that, you've got the preferred refresh rate. Now this is very important, you want this on the highest available possible, so if you do have a 144Hz monitor for example, you will automatically get the 144Hz on your monitor. Shader cache size just below, you want this on the driver default, and then all of these texture filtering options right here, you want to copy what I've got, except from performance. To be fair, a lot of you will benefit from having just performance. I myself have actually tested this out more and I found out that I've got more performance from having it on performance, which is really strange. So it's one of them where I'll go ahead and try it out for yourselves. But for me and probably for most people, you will get more performance using performance rather than high performance, which doesn't really make sense, but that's how it is, unfortunately. And then under that, you've got the trial linear optimization. You want that turned on. You want threaded optimization and um, set to auto to let Nvidia actually um, make the decision for you because it is based on your PC specs and the best setting for this is to just have it on auto and then under that you've got triple buffering off I let vsync just let the application decide on whatever game I'm on and then this one at the bottom you want to have on one and that right there is all you need to do for the 3d settings right there just below it you've actually got the configure sound and for this one I recommend selecting the processor as your graphics card uh, rather than the GPU or having it on auto select but it will automatically select the GPU I believe next we've got the change resolution tab now for this i actually made an in-depth tutorial talking about stretched resolution specifically for fortnite which i will leave a link to in the description below but one important thing inside of this tab is to make sure you're using the highest refresh rate possible for your monitor make sure to select the correct monitor and the highest refresh rate for it then under that tab we've got the adjust desktop color settings
ends and now for this one I made a video on how digital vibrance can actually affect your game and um, if you've got it on default then you actually take it up to like a high digital vibrance like 100% you can see your game does look way more vibrant than before and um, but this is a personal preference setting and I'll let you guys decide about that you then got another important setting it just desktop size and position now to get the most responsive settings I myself choose my main gaming monitor to have full screen on the scaling and GPU uh, perform scaling with the override tick right here to get the most responsiveness possible and um, as for the second monitors if you guys do have them these can just be left on display and on aspect ratio if you like it doesn't matter but for that main gaming monitor I do highly recommend using full screen and GPU scaling with a ticked as well and then the rest of these settings right here should just be left on default and that right there is the best Nvidia control panel settings and moving on there's this new method that's been popularized recently called Nvidia profile inspector where if you make some certain setting changes inside this application to actually lower the graphic quality of the game this can result in getting more FPS and even lower input delay which if you are interested in this and how to set it up I did a tutorial that I'll leave in the description below but that right there has been the best Nvidia control panel settings if a video did help out feel free to drop a like on it drop a sub on the channel and use my code in the item shop to help me out a turn catch us in the next one and be sure to check out these videos on screen peace